Hi guys, thank you for watching The Royal We. My name is Kevin, and I wanted to make a video talking to you about anger, specifically the anger coming out of narcissistic abuse. Now, first of all, I want to validate you. You are 100% justified in your anger. No matter where you're at right now, whatever position of anger you're dealing with right now, you are justified. I mean, after all, coming out of narcissistic abuse, you have come out of a situation where you have been called names, demeaned, devalued, criticized, blamed, mocked, ridiculed, lied to, lied about, cheated on, stalked, hoovered, stolen from, and then after all of this, you've left and then probably have come back into the relationship a second time or a third time thinking that you needed to change yourself and bring in a better version of yourself into the relationship only to have all that stuff happen all over again. Second time, a third time. Of course you're angry. You have every right to be angry. And then obviously it's very difficult to talk to the narcissist about your anger or anybody that the narcissist knows, including your own family. Because it somehow gets around that you're the bitter one, that you're the one with the problem, that you're the troublemaker. Which doesn't make any sense because you're talking about your anger because of the narcissist and all of their criticisms and all of their name calling. And after they're done calling you names, they tell you that you're the bitter one. It makes no sense. And, and guys, this is exactly why I put my phone number out there for you at the end of my YouTube video so that you can contact me. So that you can share your anger, you can share what you're going through. And I can validate you. Because I've been there. I've been there, so I know exactly what you're going through. I was that guy coming out of narcissistic abuse that would be pacing in the backyard, yelling and screaming at nobody. <laughs> Sounds crazy, right? That was me. I would drive to work and pound on my steering wheel and yell. And then look up and there'd be somebody in the car next to me going, dude, that dude is crazy, right? And there was nobody else in the car with me. This was all before I started making videos, but I want to let you know how serious I take the anger portion coming out of narcissistic abuse. It's very serious. So I want to let you know that I can relate to you and I'm willing to talk to you about this. Now in this video, I want to help you to understand by the end of it, how your anger is normal, it's natural, and it's actually going to become your number one asset in life. I get phone calls from people on a daily basis and one of the things that you all have in common is the anger. One of the questions I get on a regular basis is, how do I get rid of this anger? And you know, as I thought about this and how I wanted to present this video to you, I wanted to be able to share how I got over the anger. You ready? The truth is guys, is I haven't. I haven't gotten over the anger. And you're not going to get over the anger, at least not the way that you think you are. You see, anger is a part of who we are. Anger is a part of our human nature and anger is used to drive us forward in life. Anger can actually become your number one asset. It could turn you into a superhero. Like, like uh, the Incredible Hulk from the Avengers. Dr. Banner. Now might be a really good time for you to get angry. That's my secret, Cap. I'm always angry. Now guys, I'm not really a, a comic book fan, and I don't know a whole lot about Marvel or, or whatever, or the Avengers, but what I do know is that the Incredible Hulk is one of the only superheroes who seems to have his power wrapped up in his anger. That's where his superpower lives. And to me, it seems like it's a story about this guy, Dr. Banner, who has to learn how to control and manage his anger so that he can use it as a superhero. You follow me? So in this video, I wanna to talk to you about how to manage your anger, what to do with your anger. That's what we want to talk about, what to do with your anger. And guys, this is actually gonna be a huge segment in my course that's coming out. I'm not gonna give you all of the good stuff, all of the details right now, but I wanna give you a condensed understanding of where I'm gonna be going with the segment on anger, okay? So 
We need to understand, first of all, what anger is and why it's so important to us, okay? Anger is actually designed to help you solve problems. We're, so we're problem solvers by nature. That's what we do. We recognize that something's wrong and we want to fix it. Anger is one of our first recognitions. It's one of the first red flags that something is wrong. Right? That's what anger is. That's the purpose that it serves. Anger is always an outward thing. Whoa, we're angry at what's going on over there. we got to fix it. Right? I'm a father, and if you guys are parents, you'll know this when you watch your children play. I have a four-year-old, and I'll watch him play with his toys, and when he gets angry, it's because his toy is not doing what it's supposed to do, according to him. So he picks it up, and he shakes it out of frustration, and he slams it down on the ground, and he starts fidgeting and playing with it again. And then he gets frustrated again and angry and picks it up and slams it on the ground again, right? And then he picks it up again and slams it and then finally destroys it out of his anger. Why is he angry? Because it's, there's something wrong with it. It's not, it's not doing what it's supposed to be doing according to him. Now what's interesting about this is narcissistically abusive people, they operate the exact same way. You see in the relationship that you're in with the narcissist, whether it's your parents or whether it's a lover or whether it's a family member or sibling, is they look at the relationship like something's wrong, you're not doing your role right in the relationship and so they get mad and angry and frustrated and they start throwing stuff and shouting and calling you names and becoming abusive and cursing and cussing and all that stuff. Just like a four-year-old. You see, we know that narcissistically abusive people, they suffer from arrested development. So as far as their anger is concerned, they're no more mature than a four-year-old throwing a temper tantrum. That's all it is. It's an adult version of a temper tantrum, right? You, on the other hand, have learned in life to reserve your angry outbursts, at least in that situation, right away. You take time to think about stuff, process stuff. This is a mature way to view anger. You learn, you educate, you process it, you think about it. This is a good thing. This is a good trait that you have, right? So now what I want to do is now that we understand what the purpose of anger is, understand that it's a problem solving skill, right? Now we need to understand that it's okay to take this problem solving skill Realize that we're dealing with a problem that we cannot solve. Narcissistically abusive people are a problem that you cannot solve. You can't fix another person. We're not qualified to do that. So we have to bring this anger that we have towards not being able to fix that person. We have to bring it inward back towards us. Now, this is where things get really cool, guys. Follow me on this. Because when you start to bring that anger back to you, Remember, I want, to, I want you to realize this, guys. Anger is always outward. Anger is the furthest thing away from you. When you're angry, you're angry at something else. But as you bring it back into you, once you realize that you can't fix that problem, you can't solve that issue, you're going to bring the anger back in towards you. And once it's in your circle now, it's going to change and it's going to transform and it's going to become indignation. You're going to go from anger to indignation. What's the difference? Well, anger is outward. I'm angry at that. I want to fix that. Indignation is, I can't stand that. I have a problem with that. I have an issue with that. That's indignation. And this is where it starts to get good. And this is where it's important for your life. Because now that you have indignation, I can't stand that. I can't tolerate that. Now you can start to set boundaries. No, no, no. I can't be around cussing and name calling. Take that somewhere else. No, 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 no. I don't play games like that. Go away, leave me alone. Do you follow me? It goes from you trying to change out of anger, trying to change something else, to no, I can't be around that. Okay? It's getting good. And then the last stage of that anger is it's going to turn into a drive. Your drive is now what you're going to do with this indignation. You can go out and change the world if you want to, or you can just use your drive at home with your own children. Take that indig indignation, I don't like cussing, and now when you catch your children saying inappropriate words or being disrespectful, you can lay down the law. <laughs> no, 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 we don't cuss in this house. This is now using your anger, right, as drive in life. You've taken this anger, it hasn't gone anywhere, it's still there, but now you're using it in life, all right? 
I don't want to give away too much guys because I'm going to get into my course, <laughs> alright? And I don't want to go ahead and give you all of uh, what I'm going to be working on in the course, but I wanted to give you that piece guys, and I hope that it helps. I want to let you know that you're welcome to contact me if you have any questions at all whatsoever about what you've heard, or if you just want to call just to express your anger, I'm there for you guys, okay? Thank you for watching The Royal We. Have a great week. Hi guys. Thanks for watching The Royal We. Yes, thank you for watching The Royal We. I want to let you guys know that I am almost finished with the course. It's going to be available pretty soon and I'm excited to be able to offer that to you guys. I also want to let you guys know that I'm thankful for all of your phone calls. You can continue to contact me. It's absolutely free. But for those of you who have demanded that you be able to give back in return, I want to let you know that I have put a donation link on my channel. So you're welcome to donate whatever you would like to donate to this channel. And you don't have to. That's completely up to you. Bless you guys. Thank you. Be sure to hit that like and subscribe button if you're not already a subscriber. And we will be back with more right here on The Royal Wii. While you look at the camera.